Hi, my name is Chris Frazier. I'm the creative director at Appsauce Labs. And this is a gameplay video so that you can get a sense of how Eden Rangers plays. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the deck is structured, um, about how to go and set up the game, and I'm also going to tell you about how to play it. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I want to tell you a little bit about how the Emu Ranchers deck is structured. We have, first of all, the Emu cards, number two through nine. We have eight of those, and each of those has two different colors. In the Emu Ranchers deck, there are six colors. Yellow, red, green, orange, purple, and blue. Um, so that means that for each rank or number card, there are three cards available. So two ranks per or two suits per card. You get the idea. So eight cards available in the Emu set. Next we have eggs and feathers. For rank purposes, eggs can be treated as ones, and feathers can be treated as tens. Um, they're not scored that way, and we'll explain how they're scored, but it's good to just keep in mind eggs are sort of the beginning of things, feathers are sort of the end. Next we have the wild cards. We have uh, four of them. Each of them has three suits. They can be used as any of the number ranks or emu cards uh, in the deck. We also have a buyout card. The buyout card is a special card. In the deck head, it's called the excuse, but we call it the buyout card, and that's a very cool card to get when you're playing. Okay, so now we're going to play through a game of Emu Ranchers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the deck and I'm going to deal out six cards to each player. I've got my beautiful full wife Amy over there. She's probably going to beat me. Usually does. So I've dealt out six cards and now I'm going to set aside the draw deck. Emo Ranchers is played by first playing a card and then drawing a card. So we'll each take turns doing this until the draw pile is exhausted. So I can either play a card and start a new pen or I can play a card to an existing pen or I can discard a card over here in the discard pile. Next, I need to draw a card, which means I can either draw a card from the draw pile, or I can draw a card from the discard pile. Now, I can't draw the card that I just played, obviously, but if there are cards available, I can draw from there. So now we're gonna show you really quickly the cards that we have. First step is organizing your cards. Now, you'll see here, usually when you're organizing a, uh, your hand, you want to get your numbered cards and your suits together. But because Emu Ranchers has two suits per card, well, this can get a little bit this can get a little bit tricky. For example, here I've got a six. Well, I could play the six with my green and blue two here, or I could play it with, because it's also a purple, with my orange four, my orange purple four, or I could play my four with with the egg. And then of course I've got my two here which I could either play with the four or the four on this side. So you see here you've got all kinds of options in terms of how to organize your hand. So we're just going to take a second here and put our hands together and see if we can come up with something worth playing. Amy's going to start us out. Alright, so she started with the feather. Now remember, for rank purposes, feathers are tens, so that means she's going to be playing down. I'm going to start opposite. I'm going to start with an egg. For rank purposes, that's a one. I need to make sure that I draw. All right, so Amy played a wild. That wild could have been a purple, red, or a yellow, but it, because it's played after the feather, it is a purple. Now, in terms of numeric sequence, we're just going to call that a nine. Now I'm going to be playing up here, so I'm going to be playing my two. Alright, Amy's got another feather. I'm going to continue in my orange set here. Now 
Now here's where Emu Ranchers gets to be really challenging. Looking at my hand, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to play next. Now I do have this 9, and that could go easily with my 6 and 5. But check this out. I also have a feather and a 9. Well, my 2 and 4, that's 6 points. With my 9, that's 15 points. I'm not quite paying for it yet. I know that I can pay for it with the 6 and the 5. Well, I've got some tough choices to make here. Let's see what I can do. I'm going to go a little sideways on this one, and I'm going to try out playing a blue. Blue-green, too. We'll see what happens. Getting crazy. Whoa, all right, now you can see here, Amy played two wilds, so that's now worth nine and eight. She has 17 points on that pen, doing pretty well. All right, now I played this blue-green two. I played it looking like it was gonna be a blue, but you know what? I think it's gonna be a green. I just drew this green-red three, so I think I'm gonna go that direction. And I'm gonna draw. All right, Amy's getting close here. She's got 14 points. I'm gonna follow up. Here I've got 10 points on this pen. And I need to draw. Now I kinda lucked out. Here I got a wild. That's good stuff. But I don't know what to do with the rest of these no, with the rest of these cards. I've got a feather and a four that I'm probably never gonna use. So I might consider discarding this feather. After some deliberation, Amy plays the three. So now she's got 17 points here. She's gonna need a two or a while to go ahead and finish that one out. And we'll see how that goes. I've got, I happen to draw that orange five. That was a pretty lucky thing for me. I wasn't thinking I was gonna be able to make that. Okay, now the last card that I drew, I ended up drawing this blue-red nine. And it was kind of an interesting card because it made me have to relook at this this blue, green, red wild. Originally, I was thinking about playing it there, but you know what? I might go and play it with this nine, and I might treat it as a red, which means now I can play my four. And look at that! I might be able to pull something out with this feather. Hmm. Well, let's see what I can do. I'm going to go ahead and play my orange nine, and I'm going to take the feather. Amy discards an eight, orange eight. Uh, of course, I could have used that here, so that's, thank you. Thank you for, uh, you know, letting me know that you have cards that I need. All right, so I'm going to finish out my orange pen here, and I'm uh, doing pretty well there, and I'm gonna draw. Now I just drew this orange-red six. Now when I first drew it, I thought, oh man, I really could have used it on my oranges, but again, it's also a red. So I'm gonna put that right there. I'll just put it right in there, and we'll see what I can do with that. I'm gonna go ahead and play my feather, and I'm going to take that five. All right, Amy just carded the egg, green egg. Now, of course, I can't use it. We've already got the greens going on there, so it's not gonna do me any good. So I'm gonna start playing out the reds that I've been collecting.
All right, so Amy drew the last card. That means we get to play out all the rest of our cards. And I'm going to finish out this pen over here. And let's see here. Is there anything else that I can do? Unfortunately, there is nothing. I got a whole lot of nothing over here. So I'm just going to set these cards aside and discard them. Okay, so now we're going to score out what we've got here. Let's go ahead and start out with Amy. Amy, you've got kind of a rough one here. We've got 7 and 8. That's 15 points. Not enough. That's going to be negative 3. Plus, we've got the egg. Well, the egg in this particular case is worth negative 5. If she had made her 18, it would be worth positive 5. But in this particular case, she's got negative 8 points. She can't afford that. So she's going to play the buyout card. And what the buyout card does is it wraps this sucker up. And it's gone, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at this pen. We've got 9 and 8 and 7. Well, that is at least 18 points. That's very good. So we're going to go ahead and wrap these guys up. Pay for the pen. Now, here's the thing. You pay for the pen in whole cards. So she's not going to get any change for this. Kind of a bummer. But you know what? It adds some interesting strategy, especially when you're collecting some of those lower point cards. So here she's got... An egg and a feather, those, because she's paid for her pen, are worth plus five. She's got ten points there. Now here we've got eight and six and three, so that's 17 points. Not quite enough, but it's only negative one. Unfortunately, there's also a feather, so that's negative six points. So for her total set, she has uh, ten minus, uh, that's four points. That's right, she's got four points total. All right, let's take a look at what I've got. I've got, uh, let's see here, we've got five plus four is nine, plus I'm gonna go ahead and take the other nine here, and that's gonna be 18 points. All right, so I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna say I paid for the pen, and then I'm gonna look here, and I've got eight plus six is 14 points, plus another 10 is 24, not bad. All right, let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got nine plus nine, four plus five plus is 9 plus 9 is 18, so we're going to pay for this one. And here I've got an egg and a feather, that's 10 plus 2 is, uh, is 12. All right, so so far I've got 36 points, and then we've got the big negative. So here I've got 5 plus 5 is 10, not quite enough. So I've got negative 8 points here. So out of my 36 points, I'm 36, right? I've now got negative 8 on that, so that means I've got 28 points. All right, 28 points to four points. <laughs> this is a surprise win, folks. I very rarely beat Amy, but in this particular case, I did. That is how Emu Ranchers plays. You'll see here, um, there's a lot, of, a lot of different ways you can play with the scoring. Um, it's a lot of fun, and uh, you never know how things are gonna turn out. That last card oftentimes can make or break an entire pen. Thanks a lot for watching.